We are moving on with the Shaw Brothers Shaw Scope Volume 1 set and we are now on to Chinatown Kid which is one I've been excited to get to um, because I've heard great things about it. Alexander Fu Cheng who plays Tang Tung, um, a young person in Hong Kong struggling to really find his groove, to, to be able to find something that he settles into. He has an insane ability for boxing and he's quite happy to defend himself and fight off people when he needs to. When he's framed for something that he didn't do at the start of the movie, he flees to America to set up, a, hopefully, a new life for himself there in San Francisco. And when he gets there, he has to work hard uh, as a waiter, meet some friends and connections, and just struggle through day-to-day -day life until some bad guys turn up and start to rock his world, in which case, He's forced to defend uh, his honour and kick some major ass. And from then on, you kind of see him enveloped into gangland culture as he becomes a high-ranking official there, ultimately realising the bad things that he's doing and trying to come good and stop the bad guys. Watching this one, it felt very much like an almost remake to The Boxer of Shantung. Um, it, it follows a lot of those beats you know, really well, where you've got um, this character of Tan Tung who is someone that just has an insane ability uh, in fighting, but has nothing at the start of the movie and has to build his, himself up. <laughs> So many men against one. <laughs> Discovering that when the more power and respect that he gets, he doesn't like doing the negative things that the gangsters do. In fact, he tries to fix it, ultimately getting the chagrin of other gangsters and causing a giant battle at the end of it. Now, I don't know if it was a remake of that movie, but it definitely followed a lot of the beats. But that's not a bad thing, yeah, because I really enjoyed this movie. The sets are really wonderful, whether it be the sets in Hong Kong or the sets that are supposed to be San Francisco. Yeah, they're all terrific looking things and well set up for some truly wonderful fight sequences that are really energetic and fun. And Fu Sheng gives a wonderful performance and it's just, you kind of rue the fact that he died so young because you feel as if he was uh, lining up to be the next big thing after uh, Jackie Chan, or just before Jackie Chan really, around about the same time, because uh, he certainly has a style and knack about him. The fight sequences are exhaustive, they are fun, they are brutal, they are super exciting and again they reminded me of the Boxer of Shantung, the way that they were uh, thought out and done. There are some moments in this film that feel a little bit forced and a little bit unnatural uh, like the, the, the college guy who ends up addicted to drugs um, at one point and it's up to uh, Tang Tung to try and get him free of that somehow like I said it's, it feels a little bit forced but it's not grating to the point and it gives a nice facet into or a moment as to why our character wants to make the turn into becoming better first the study then the work I, I needed something I couldn't help it you can't blame me you probably helped to market this stuff He's a little bit naive. He gets manipulated a little bit too easy in certain points as well, but you know the character's heart is ultimately good and he can, you know, hopefully overcome the negative forces in his life and, and do something really great. I I had a lot of fun uh, with Chinatown Kid. It was one that I just really enjoyed the sets. I, I enjoyed the sort of modern aspect of it. Uh, the Kung Fu was particularly joyful. Um, I loved the different locations that they would fight, I loved the different uh, ways that they would fight, how it would play out and how it ultimately became 
such a, an absolute jaw-dropping spectacle at certain moments to continue on these fight sequences. I really liked Chinatown Kid. Uh, it's up there. It was one of my favourites of the, of the box set. It's not as strong as, say, King Boxer or the Boxer of Shantung, but it's close behind that. Uh, it's one of my favourites. I'm getting close to the end now, and it's, it's a kind of sad experience because I've been loving this set so far. So, join me next time when we move on to... Uh, I think it's the, the Five Venoms, which I'm really looking forward to as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on Man V Film. But remember, click that like button um, if you want to see more Shaw reviews here. There's more content up here, and you can always join the Patreon or the membership program if you want to really support my channel. Thanks for watching, and I will see you again next time.